Good day, fellow cinema nerds and movie geeks of the internet. This is goddamn Dino Reviews here. That's what you're watching. Taking my glasses off dramatically. This I'm indoors. People who wear sunglasses indoors don't even do that. You don't need them indoors. It it defeats the purpose of the sunglasses. Like like it's like wearing a, t a cap backwards. It's meant to cover your face from the sun. It's summer. You need that. You don't. This was only for dramatic effect and to emphasize the orange that I'm wearing right now. So, so this, the, oh, let me ch check off on the scale of orangeness I have on my orange phone. Or maybe I could listen to, um, like, oh, bloody hell. Maybe I could listen to the scale of orangeness on my orange speaker. Or maybe I could, or maybe I could listen to the orangeness on my orange speakers. See, but um, anywho, that was I felt like changing up a bit, but there you go. I didn't change much, I just just talked about orange for about 30 seconds. But anywho, this is bloody my this is Dino Views. I'm acting such a mellow, melodramatic, but uh, what time am I, what am I viewing after reviewing Ghostbusters? Like I said just now. I'm wearing this to change it run up a bit. Um, I'm reviewing a comedy, the comedy Central Intelligence, starring Dwayne Johnson and Kevin Hart. People talking outside, but um, that's the. It's been out for a while, and today I had nothing else to do, so I thought after the Ghostbusters, I'm going to see a movie that I need to catch up on. There's been movies over the past month that, you know, I was thinking of seeing, but I kind of missed out on anyway, like Warcraft, Ghosts of Egypt, which I heard was very bad anyway, but in a good, in a fun way, but still bad. Um, and Eyes of the Sky, but here, I, I had a choice, I was thinking of either watching The Secret Life of Pets or Central Intelligence, and even, and I felt like, you know, having a good laugh, I don't think a, ki a, a kid's animated movie is going to make me laugh, I'm still going to see it eventually anyway. But um, Central Intelligence, is set, oh, I heard, I watched Jeremy John's review on that, I heard it's pretty funny, so I'm going to go watch that. So, I I went and saw Central Intelligence, what do I think? I'm between mediocre and not very good. Well, uh, I'm going to explain why. Okay, I'm going to start with this. There seems to be a trend right now in terms of comedies in movies that basically get two actors they could be they could be known for comedy or you know whatever else but they have to be very well known and very much liked by you know the known public get these get these random two actors put them together they just sell the movie on that alone just put the put the posters of the, oh no, them looking at each other standing next to each other doing a pose together and say starring these two actors and then the title um and maybe have them holding a prop or have the background be something related to the actual prop. And by the way, with these movies that are just sold on these two actors starring and them doing something alone, the plot normally comes second. Um, movies like Get Hard starring Will Fell and Kevin Hart. Movies like Big Daddy as of recently starring Mark Wahlberg and Will Fell, which I was going to see but I missed out on. I don't know if it was good or not, I didn't really see a review of it. Um, uh, what else? Uh, Grim, well, not really Grimsby. I mean, no, nah, I'll, I'll get to why not really Grimsby, um, which actually kind of links to the plot of this film. Um, what else? Uh, da, 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 oh, was off the top of my head. Oh, there's another one. Um, oh, Dirty Grandpa, starring Robert De Niro and Zach Efron, which was really weird because that guy's like a, he's like a, a veteran actor, you know, possibly one of the greatest actors of our generation. And they put him next to like um, a, a beginning actor who's been in a lot of like you know yup like uh, he's been in High School Musical, but it's, I don't know how to describe the movies he's in like recently. Um, Bad Neighbors, how do you describe that? I don't know, you know. But this movie, like this one, now stars Kevin Hart and uh, Dw Dwayne Johnson. Kevin Hart. And was in Get Hard, and now he's in this. Will Ferrell was in Get Hard, and now he's in Big Daddy. Weird. So this is the new of the random two actors in a comedy together, where the plot comes second type of movies. <clears throat> this one is about is about uh, 
basically. Uh, Dwayne Johnson, he plays it. He played a, a slightly chubby kid. He uh, he was bullied, and now he's in the CIA, and now Ke uh, he gets Kevin Hart involved in this whole fiasco, and now they work together and shenanigans ensue. Um, now I'm gonna. Sp I didn't make any notes on this one. I think you know. I, I don't really need many, I don't really have that many things to say on it. So that's one will probably be short and unusual. So sad, I know. But Central Intelligence. Does that title make any sense? Central Intelligence. Not left or right, this Central Intelligence. Didn't take a lot of intelligence to write this movie. <laughs> no, not that badly written. Um, but uh, Central Intelligence. This movie. Um... Now, I should probably give my thoughts on the two actors first. Kevin Hart, uh, he's kind of known for doing the same shtick now, and um, he really does this old Kevin Hartisms, like, uh, you know, randomly screaming and making noises and doing. I don't know, having his mouth do that weird thing, like. I don't know, I'm trying to think of a quote, but if I do, I'll probably be called racist, because a lot of things could be called racist nowadays. Um, like, a, oh damn! Oh shite! Oh damn, man! That's and then makes a quote a joke about him being black, but not as much as Kevin Tuck, uh, Kevin Tucker, Chris Tucker. What am I even saying? Chris Tucker, because he normally resorts to those jokes. But like, oh damn! Oh, oh shy. Like he does the thing and he talks really fast. Um, but uh, Dwayne Johnson, I watched a few movies with him. He's a very likable actor, to, from wrestler to actor, and very, he's very good for someone for people saying normally that when that happens, it doesn't really go so well. Um. But here, he, uh, I like uh, Kevin Hart. I like he took me many years until I realized he was in a superhero movie, which was a comedy I watched a lot as a kid, which I probably shouldn't because it had some uh, grown up jokes in it. Not smart grown up jokes, but like uh, you know, talk about joke up, jokes about sex and stuff. But um, Dwayne Johnson, uh, I recently saw in uh, San Andreas, which I found a very fun just. Just, just a good old fun uh, disaster movie, a bit like Independence Day, um, and uh, I can't help but it sounds weird to call him Drain Johnson, not Drain the Walk Johnson, because whenever, I, well, I rarely do talk about him. That's how I, what I say. But I'm guessing he's trying to, you know, get away from that now because he's now a full-on actor. Doubt he'll be in any Oscar pieces anytime soon, but you know, just might. Now, uh, this was the movie funny. Uh, no. Uh, well, not to me, anyways. I, I think some people laughed. Some people, I mean, there weren't many people in my audience because it's been out for a while. But not many people in, uh, many, some, a few people laugh, you know, quite loudly. Me, I laugh more in Ghostbusters than I did in this. This, that movie was advertised like a, like a new reboot for the property of Ghostbusters. And it's like, all different and new and stuff. This one is just like, here's a comedy starring these two actors, you're like, I, I expected it to be very funny. I didn't really laugh at all, I didn't, I didn't think I chuckled. Which is weird. I, I don't know why, maybe like, la all those chuckles I made during Ghostbusters just kind of took all the laughter out of me, and like, no, I can't laugh anymore for this. Uh, yes, I'm very all over the place without the notes. <coughs> because that's why I think concisely, and, well... So, try to and just try to write it all down so it could drop my memory for when I actually do this. But, um, uh, the plot is, a, is some generic type of plot that looks like they were like they were kind of writing it as they were making it. Like, I caught up pretty easily, but it just seems so half assed. Like, but they repeat, uh, I don't know, what was it? The we'll keep repeating Black Badger over and over again, and and like, oh, here's a twist, and here's a twist. Jesse Pinkman from Breaking Bad is in it. Yes, he says bitch. And he even said, I, I, I have the first season of that show. I haven't watched it, but I, I've heard of, I just know of like, you know, how that character sounds like, Mr. White, bitch. Like apparently that's what he talks like. Pardon my language, by the way. It means female dog, so not, it's not technically a swear word. I think. I mean, what other things would you call your female dog? Female dog? That's just ridiculous. But um. But yes, uh, basically, the, I was thinking of Grimsby because uh, when I saw Grimsby, I was thinking it was funny. I laughed a lot during that movie, but the plot was really, really, really generic and just not a lot of thought was made into it. Like, 
oh, some virus is going to be unleashed and then everyone's going to die and need a, or need an antidote and they're going to have to buy it off me and then I'll become stinking witch or like, oh, this code means people get access to satellites and mean terrorism and nuclear bomb, that type of stuff. You need to get this from here to here and I need this information like, oh, we need to stop these bad guys and that type of generic spy plot thing. Ugh. But, or just action movie plot, really, like a stick movie with Jason Statham, something like that. Um, so here, where the plot was very, uh, well, the twist of, like, who the bad guy actually was, I, people say, oh, it was so predictable, that twist, I saw, saw it from a mile away, I didn't, I'm not really like that, I didn't really see it from a mile away, but I, I was just confused, because I couldn't twist, I could twist, I couldn't twist him, I couldn't, I couldn't trust Dwayne Johnson's character. Yes, you know the Joker that he's like he's the big muscly Dwayne Johnson, and he's like um, and he's like some innocent, naive, somewhat of a kid. He likes unicorns and guns, but he's still like this hardcore CIA agent. Like I couldn't trust trust him a lot. Just the way he spoke and acted, and like, um, uh, like the way he talked to Kevin Hart made me always think he was up to something, and, and then he would become the bad guy, and like. Even after, I couldn't trust him because, like, he kept um, going, like, oh, he kept doing things and make it like, are you a good guy or a bad guy or not? I can't understand that. And yes, at times it got very annoying because he kept calling Kevin Hart Jet over and over again. And he, because, you know, that was the name of Kevin Hart. Kevin Hart in high school had the nickname because he was like by everyone. He was likely to succeed. People called him that. Um, and he kept calling him Jet over and over again. So, J Dwayne Johnson playing this, like, upbeat, charismatic kid in this muscly body got somewhat annoying at times, like, very, very, just over too much, um, but still, for the first part, it was, for a lot, uh, it, it was amusing, I mean, wait, I, I just now said, like, Kate, Mc, Kate Killen, I can't remember, however her name was pronounced, like, her, she was a bit quirky, but, like, some may say, when it was, uh, was overboard, but I didn't mind it, here, I could, yeah, that was very overboard, like, dial it down a bit, Dwayne Johnson, but it's still amusing. Like, so with J Dwayne Johnson, sub, like, being a bit overboard on acting like a charismatic kid and, like, saying Jet over and over again and switching sides and Kevin Hart doing his own, like, oh, oh, shite, oh, I can't do this, man, I'm black! And, like, him doing that type of joke, uh, him with his Kevin Hart-isms, they're doing that for quite a bit. And also with the generic, bland, just, like, half-ass plot that it was it didn't seem they put a lot of effort in like oh and mixed with that oh and also it not I me not finding it funny um I didn't have have a lot of fun with it I didn't think I had a lot more fun with Ghostbusters probably because I had ghosts and you know creativity here was just these two actors uh and stuff jokes go on way too long like the bicker, the banter, the banter parts, they, they go on, go, go on way too long. Uh, Kevin Hart has a wife, she's very annoying at times, like, uh, it's, it's, oh, at times it seems like it, she doesn't actually like Kevin Hart's character. Um, oh, like in Dirty Grandpa, there's all, like, there's always that character, of like, oh man, what's up, uh, what's up, man? Why are you all getting on my level? Chill, dog. And he's like, oh, uh, so, oh, and he talks about make sex jokes and stuff. Like there was a guy in Dirty Grandpa, uh, who like uh, he was like there was a scene with him in a store and he pretends to, uh, and he pretend like he's gonna shoot him but he's not. He's like, oh chill, dog. I was just joking, you know, stuff like that. And he drinks and makes sex jokes. That counts in here. Very annoying. Um, a lot of the characters are just very one note, which I expected in these types of comedies. Like, uh, Casey Bateman isn't no Casey Bateman. What am I saying? Jason Bateman. Jason Bateman. Who am I saying? The voice of the fox from the new, uh, from Zootropolis, uh, Jason, Jason, how was he? Wait, wait, give me a minute, I'll, I'll look at where I'm talking. Um, <coughs> but, uh, da 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 da, Zootropolis, um, starring Jason Bateman, yes, I was right. So Jason Bateman, um, he, he's in it. His very one note, like he's just an asshole. That's it. Like he, like, I know the ending. It goes on so long. I want, like, just the part. You know the moments at the end of comedy films, like 
Like, everything you could possibly imagine goes right. Like, the bad guy gets punched in the face. He finds the girl of his dreams. Like, everyone loves him. Uh, and, like, he thought his life was boring, but now it's good because now he's working with the CIA. Liking Grimsby, if you watch Grimsby, you know, like, the loser... Like, I can't remember his name. Like, the loser brother from Grimsby is now working with the badass brother spy, and they're both in that now. Here... They're both a team now, and, uh, like, I don't, the ending when they go to their reunion, and, like, like there's this whole, J Jane Johnson makes a cheesy speech about being yourself, and then suddenly, I don't know, a girl that he said he had a crush on, like, in one line, at, right at the beginning of the movie, is there, like, oh, oh, what, oh, oh, her, played by Melissa McCarthy, and, and, like, everyone's just standing around them, standing still, not talking, staring at them, until, I don't know, they kiss, uh, or they hug, and, and then everyone cheers, and they just stand there looking, like, I don't know, they're sick, like, this is like a 16 high school musical film, even though everyone there is meant to be, like, 30, um, and then, it just keeps going and going, yeah, water, do 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 I didn't like it, <clears throat> So um, so yeah, uh, I I didn't I didn't really like it but all that much. It was between mediocre, and not very good. I just reiterate myself one more time. Dwayne Johnson's shtick of you know being a charismatic, mag naive kid who's like this badass CIA agent who's always like once like knows everything that's gonna happen. Um, it, it was amusing, but it kind of got old. Uh, got kind of got annoying at times. Kevin Hart is Kevin Hart isms, despite the actual plot is generic, bland, half-assed. Uh, just like didn't put much, that much effort in, and also predictable at times. Um, some characters are in there for like one scene, never and just go away. Some characters you just forget, like oh, oh, they 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 were relevant. Like even a line like with Melissa McCarthy, I just said he was in there for like a minute or two. Like, I guess she was working on Ghostbusters across the street. You say, hey, can you be in this quickly? So, sure, she goes over uh, and does that. Um, it's, I didn't find it funny, but that's just my personal preference. Humor, humor is objective, after all. Um, I, I know that because I try to make people laugh, and it normally doesn't, it doesn't always work. Um, but, um, yeah, I didn't find it all that funny. Uh, and the ending goes on way too long. You know, the whole cheesy, like, oh, oh everything, everything's going well for them, going swell. Uh, some some people act very unrealistically to situations like people being shot at. Um, there's also a part where like a uh, Dwayne Johnson is being uh, interrogated, even though even though the person who interrogates him is actually on the person's side, but the bad guy wasn't there, so they were the only person they would be falling is Kevin Hart, and I don't know why they would need to do that since you know he they. I don't. I think he'd probably, you know, be be on their side anyway if they tell them the truth. A lot of inconsistencies. Uh, it was it was really made to have these two actors in it and just, just somehow be funny um, because people know them. Um, so yes, uh, okay. I, I remember Get Hard not being all that great anyway um, because I mostly relied on jokes that you know you'll be raped in jail. Um, so yes, here, this is another movie signed two actors you know in a in a comedy, and it's only sold on that. Um, oh yeah, and there's a part of the game where like Dwayne Johnson's face upon a on a fat guy. Sorry for the fat guy watching. Um, you know, if he is watching that Pacific guy. Um, but uh, I guess now it's good effect. Yes, yeah, sometimes it's obvious the budget in this movie wasn't all that great. Um, there's, there's a lot of cliches in this. Oh god. Comedy cliches as well, modern day comedy cliches. Um, what else? Ah, it's hard to remember all now. Um, da, 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 da. I think, by the way, I think Kevin Hart plays the exact same character in this as in Get Hard, by the way. Um, what else? I'm sure, like, they could have had, like, Dwayne Johnson and Kevin Hart, and um, they're the. They're both painters, Ke Dwayne Johnson and Kevin Hart. They work at a video store, Dwayne Johnson and Kevin Hart. They're both amateur superheroes, I don't know. Just 
what do you want to do? Okay, we have these actors. Now we need to basically just put in some sort of setting. So he put in spy setting. And that's how it happened. Um, yeah. um, but, uh, anything else? <laughs> I'm trying to think of anything else. Um, Grim it, Grimsby had a generic plot, but at least that made me laugh a lot. <laughs> Like really, really hard. Um, some gyms go on way too long; they just don't work. Like it's like really unfunny. <laughs> just like, come on. Do do do. Mhm. Mm oh man, they, they even the even the title sequence has that Jommy Jommy this boy up to something song and. Ugh. Good thing they didn't play the song work. I don't, I don't like that one. <laughs> oh man, I'm trying to think of anything else. Just any any little just just little dollops of like little just a thing to say. Oh, by the way, if I would score I might as well say now. Um four, five out of ten. People are saying I'd be too harsh. Oh, it's just a comedy it's meant to be funny, but I didn't laugh and I just found found it very a bit irritating at times. Though let me just quickly say, with my jacket off, but I just want to quickly point out, it's obvious that Dwayne Johnson and Kevin Hart are like pretty best friends in real life there. They, I could tell they have good chemistry, even though, you know, the, Bill, stop it, my cat's playing with the cable, and even though the personality of Kevin Hart, I, it's, it looks, it seems similar to his actual personality though, I don't think Dwayne Johnson actually acts that childish and likes unicorns in real life but you can tell they have good chemistry and you know they're like best buddies in real life by the way the outtakes during the credits um also very amusing especially when they did that camera thing opposite size i think it's a viral video on facebook i don't want to say that though <laughs> i mean like there are there are positive things in this movie i'm not saying complete crap i mean uh i mean just cool cool to see drain johnson the big beefcake as this childish guy and I don't know, him jumping out a window and him as the chubby kids, I mean, that, that, and that Kevin Hart and Dwayne Johnson being in it, and the chubby kid effect. Oh, that's really the only thing, and also the cheesy ending, like, oh man, you're the hero of your own story, don't be a screw-up. It doesn't matter if you're a screw-up, and, yeah. Uh, da 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 da. Um, by the way, I swear the guy. I, I, that's a part of the game. Like, oh no, uh, to prove that Dwayne Johnson is now a badass and not just like a man child. Like, there's some guys go like, oh you, uh, oh you want to fight, man? Just go. Like, the, they're the guy. They're like the mentality from Karate Kid. Like, oh you sneezed on me in this fight. I hate you, man. I'm gonna, I'm gonna beat you up. Stuff like that. Um, do to do. Uh, yeah, no, no characters are really interesting. I, I just that's why I'm just calling them the actors' name, even though they they do mention their names quite a bit. So one is called Bob Ross and one is called Golden Jet. I can't remember. That's why I kept calling, him, kept saying it over and over again. Golden Jet. Um, okay, I think that's it. It's weird. I, Ghostbusters, I found funny. It's, um, so there you go. Uh, this is. You've been watching the interviews, uh, no, the screen watcher like you, uh, didn't really like it, wasn't all that fun.